Incomplete on the third down try. 22 Charles Davis comes from his free safety position to cover the intended receiver Richardson. So Van Tiffen will come in. He'll be attempting a 36 yard field goal. And you'll watch it from the end zone. There's the end over end kick and it splits the uprights. There's time out of the field with the score. Alabama three, Tennessee nothing. After the field goal, Tennessee is unable to move with the football. A punt of 50 yards, and Alabama comes right back. Moving against the balls, leading three to nothing. Sutton to throw. Pass. It's complete. What a grab. That's Getchell, who makes the catch. An 18-yard pass from Vince Sutton to Getchell. Let's take a second look. Good protection. Sutton rifles this ball. Watch the catch by Getchell. Extending the body and pulling it down, and Alabama is moving with the football. First down, 10 to go at the volunteer 16-yard line. The tide on top, three to nothing. And off inside. Horstead fumbles the ball, rolling, recovered. Tennessee. Tommy Sims, 16, has the recovery. Tennessee as we take a second look. Getchell, I think, just dropped the ball as he makes his cut. He's trying to move from one arm to the other and loses the ball, and Tommy Sims on the spot to recover it for Tennessee. So the Volunteers will have the ball. First down and 10 to go at the Tennessee nine-yard line. The score remains three to nothing. The pride of the Southland band on hand as Robinson hands it off, and Johnny Jones rips the left side of the line for but two yards. So now in four carries, Jones has gained 11 yards. Swanson in motion. Robinson rolling right. Will run. Will drive forward. A nine-yard gain by Robinson, and Tennessee has a first down. Three to nothing to score, but Robinson carrying. Let's take a second look. Here's Wilson making the block on the corner. Here's Robinson pump faking, now running the ball. Downfield, blocking for Tennessee Clink Scales, and it's Tony Robinson who filters through for the first down and 10 to go at the right at the 24-25 yard line. Put it at the 25 as Tennessee comes to the line. Trailing three to nothing. Robinson. Pass is incomplete. Out of bounds. That was McGee who attempted to catch the ball. And it will be second down. Tony Robinson at quarterback, a junior from Tallahassee, Florida. Johnny Jones, this time, spins over left tackle. Got right at four yards on the play, and the balls are faced with third down and six. Three to nothing to score. Tennessee sends Swanson shifting out to become a slot man to the left. Robinson in trouble. Running, pass, intercepted. That's Lewis Dean who intercepts the pass intended, I think, for Swanson or for Howard as Robinson was a little off balance and dumped the pass out to the left side and Alabama has come right back with a turnover. Tennessee guilty of having an illegal receiver downfield. Alabama, of course, will take possession and it will be Alabama leading 3-0 at the Tennessee 33. Give to Moore. Moore starts left, cuts back to the middle. Powers down for seven yards. Three nothing with Alabama on top during the end of the first quarter of the game. That's Ricky Moore. And right now, the first quarter comes to a close. Time out of the field with a score. Alabama three, Tennessee nothing. In Knoxville, Tennessee. This is Vince Sutton at quarterback. Second down, three yards to go. Sutton handoff. Tennessee stops the runner. In this case, it's Moore trying the right side of the line. Moore got maybe a yard, and it will be third down. Let's take a second look at Tennessee defensively. Well, breaking through, that's Tony Simmons, who's in a tackle. And then Carl Zander is there to shove Moore back, 235 pounds. Senior running back from Huntsville, Alabama. Here's, and here's the pitch in Tennessee for Texwell, 71 Miller. Widening out on the pitch to Karuk. And he is stopped short of the first down. Let's take a second look. The pitch to Ruth. 
71 Miller, 51 McKenzie. McKenzie makes the initial contact, and then it's Miller cleaning it up. So Alabama has it fourth down, and the Tide will be trying another field goal. That's Tippin, whose longest this year has been 53 yards. This will be a 44-yard attempt by Tippin. Tennessee dancing around defensively. Alabama ready for the snap with Abney to hold. Tennessee might have jumped. Here's the field goal. It is up, and it is good. But let's wait and see. It was fourth down and four. And the official indicates Tennessee was indeed offsides. So Alabama can elect to take the field goal and make it six to nothing or take the penalty of five yards, and that would give the tie to first down, and that's exactly what Alabama will do. First down, Alabama's Tennessee is guilty of a mistake back to throw. Here is the pass complete, Kaluf. That's Paul Kaluf, who makes a diving catch of the pass by Sutton. So Alabama, which began this drive with a pass interception, comes right back down, and they've got it first down goal. A second look at the pass from Sutton to Garouf, the diving catch. He's pinned by Sims, but it's got to be first down and goal at the four-yard line. This is the pitch to uh, and driving in for the touchdown will be Paul Carruth. Beautiful swerve by Carruth on the corner. Fine blocking up front. Let's take a second look. The pitch. That's Moore who makes the key block right there, and this is Paul Ockruth. Banged down by Douglas, but he's passed the double strike. A third look. The pitch. Carruth with the cut. And with the acceleration, and Alabama pulls on top nine to nothing. Here will be Tippin to attempt the extra point toward the south end. The kick is up, and it is good. There's five out of the field with a score. Alabama 10, Tennessee nothing. Alabama leads. Tennessee marching with the ball. Back to throw. This is Robinson. The pass is complete. That's Jeff Smith from Milan, Tennessee. The tight end making the grab. And Tennessee is moved for the first down. It's 10 nothing in favor of Alabama. Second and six. A second look. Tony Robinson. Good protection. There's the pass. Watch the cut by Smith who comes open. Makes the catch there. And is bumped out of bounds, but Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go. A third look at Tony Robinson. A junior throwing for junior tight end Jeff Smith. And so Tennessee has it first down and 10 at the Alabama 34-yard line. Tony Robinson thought about a pitch. Pretty well cut down by Emmanuel King, number 92. And Robinson made the decision to keep, and that was probably a very good decision. It's second down. Alabama on top of Tennessee, 10 to nothing. As Robinson drops to throw. Rifles the pass, incomplete, and almost intercepted. Ranging deep was McGee right there, and the pass was intended for him. He was in a crowd, and the pass is incomplete. So it's third down. Alabama defensively coming to life, leading 10 to nothing. As Robinson, play action, handoff, draw, Jones cutting, driving, spinning, clearing the ball, first down, Tennessee. Johnny Jones on the draw. Third down, 10. And you'll see the give, the wall off by Tennessee, the block right there by Howard on the linebacker. The cut by Johnny Jones, exchanging hands, and carries the ball for the first down. It's a pickup on the play of 13 yards. First and 10, Tennessee at the 21-yard line. Trailing 10 to nothing, second quarter. Robinson, pitch Jones. And Jones carries forward on the sweep of the left side for a gain of seven yards. I said Jones, that's Charles Wilton, who's come in at tailback, replacing Jones. And he moves for a gain of seven, and it will be second down. Jones now back in there at tailback. Swanson, the man in motion. The give to Jones. Jones spinning, twisting, and has a first down. So that's 
Johnny Jones for six yards, and the Volunteers will have it first and goal. Here's the second look. B.B. Cooper, number 30, blocking the linebacker. And it's Jones twisting, getting all he can, and that's enough for the first down and goal. Alabama 10, Tennessee nothing. The ball's moving toward the north end at Neyland Stadium. It's clouding up ever so slightly here. Has not rained during the game. Robinson looks over a six-man front. Pass into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee! The pass went from Tony Robinson to number 87, Joey Klinkscale, the Knoxville Austin East sophomore. Robinson is hit just as he releases the pass. It was a combination route, and the first receiver, and we'll take a look at it here on the third look, breaks to the outside. He takes one man with him, forcing man to man, and Klinkscale breaks to the inside, and there he is, open for the touchdown. And so here's Fouad Reves to attempt the extra point. It's now 10-6 to six in favor of Alabama. The extra point is perfect. And so the Volunteers drive 71 yards in 11 plays. That drive, 4 minutes, 45 seconds in length. And Tennessee has pulled to within three. Alabama 10, Tennessee 7, 348 to go here in the first half of the game. As Reves will be kicking off. Set to go in the second quarter. And here will be Reves. A bounding kick. Scooped up at the two. Five, ten. Down he goes at about the 18-yard line. And uh, the knee drags the ground back at the 15-yard line, says the official. So Alabama will have the ball at that time, at that point. First down, ten to go. The tide on top by three. Sutton at quarterback. Sutton on a handoff. This will be Ricky Moore. Cuts up field. Hit the most of the ball. There's a scramble for it. Let's see. I think Duncan, number 31, is there. Let's wait and see. The football has been recovered by the Big Orleans. That's Jim Duncan. A second look. There's the give to Ricky Moore. And let's see. That's Jones who made the hit the ball free and you'll see the reaction by Jim Duncan who dives cradles the football and Tennessee has it first play after Tennessee's touchdown is a turnover by the tide and Tennessee breaks from the huddle with Robinson at quarterback first down 10 at the Alabama 12 McGee in motion that's Wilson carrying the ball, and there's nothing there for him. And the man who makes the stop is that outstanding linebacker, Cornelius Bennett. There you see 97 Bennett coming wide, open, free, and he lowers the boom on Wilson. It will be second down and 10 at the Alabama 12. As Jones carries the ball, and Johnny Jones, who's back in a tailback, got a couple of yards on the play. And it will be for Tennessee third down and eight to go for the first down. Ten to seven the score in favor of Alabama. During the end of the first half, Tennessee shifts into that single back situation as McGee comes out to a slot left. Robinson wants to throw. Robinson punts. Robinson throws. Incomplete. Carter says he has the ball, but the official says no. He juggled it. It hit the turf, and then he grabbed it back. So Vince Carter, the fine freshman from Nashville, a bit unnerved and upset. But Tennessee on fourth down. Let's take a second look as Robinson fades. Robinson slips out of the pocket, rolling right, momentarily thought about running. Now rifles the pass. And there you see Carter diving. And from this angle, there's no way to know. The referee's right on top of the play. And so here's Reves to attempt what would be a tying field goal. 27-yard attempt by Reves. 10 to 7. The field goal is up, and it is good. And so Tennessee has turned the turnover into a field goal, and the score is tied at 10 to 10. 159 to go in the first half of the game. 
10-10 the score as Tennessee will be kicking off. So Alabama went ahead, 3-0, then 10-0. Tennessee marched downfield with a touchdown pass to make it 10-7. Now the field goal after the turnover, and it's 10-10 as Reves is kicking off. Alabama, they pound it, it to each other, and the ball is received by the Tide in the end zone and down. And so Alabama will have the ball first down and 10 to go at its 20-yard line. Over the ball is Neighbors, the center. Hand off, crisscross to Ruth, tries to get to the corner, and it's tackled as he does. 29 Clark, 42 Joe Gopher. Gain on the play of right at three yards as Alabama and Tennessee are locked in a 10-10 struggle nearing the end of the first half. We'll take a second look. The give to Caruth, the senior from Summit, Mississippi. Weaves to the outside, is banged to the ground, and it will be second down and seven yards to go. The blank space you see in the east sideline in the stands, the spot normally occupied by the final of the Southland Band. They'll be performing here at halftime as there's movement, and we'll see on whom the penalty will be called. The final of the Southland Band will be performing Friday at noon at Miller Park in Chattanooga. Concert in downtown Chattanooga en route to the game between Tennessee and Georgia Tech. Well, offsetting penalty, so right back where we started. Second down, seven. 10-10 the score. This is Carruth to the outside. He's slowed by Cooper. He's stopped by Dale Jones. And I think, let's see, we'll just wait and see where they mark the ball. A pickup right at eight or nine yards, so that should be enough for a first down, and he is. First down and 10 at the 32-yard line. Sutton rolling to the near side, looking long pass downfield. It is complete Richardson, 20, 15, 10, 5. Richardson scores. Alabama, 68 yards on a fly pattern, and Richardson just ran by the Tennessee defenders, made the catch in stride, and streaks into the end zone. Here's Sutton. Here's the long pass from ground level. Beautiful camera work. The catch by Richardson being chased there by Charles Davis. The free safety and by Kramer. But Alabama has scored. Like lightning, a 10-10 game is now 16-10, and here is Tiffin in to attempt the extra point. As the score is 16 to 10, the extra point is up and good. We'll be back with halftime comments in just one minute. Have it leading 17 to 10. It's fourth down and one, and Alabama in field goal range is going to go for the first down. Big, big play. Quarterback Sutton. Hand off. This will be Ricky Moore. He's got a first down. Ricky Moore crashes for three yards. He needed one. So Alabama will have the ball first down and 10 to go. And you'll see it being marked there at the 15-yard line of Tennessee. 17 to 10, Alabama with the ball. Braggs to the outside, struggles forward for a gain of right at three yards. And it will become second down and seven. 54, Dale Jones widening out as we take a second look. Number one is Andrew uh, uh, Andre Kramer, uh, Kramer, and that is Kramer who is actually making the stop. But it's a gain of three. Alabama, handoff Carruth. Good blocking at the corner. Gets to the outside. Down to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Alabama. Paul Carruth sweeps the left side of the line. His second touchdown of the football game. This one good for 12 yards. You'll see the blocking, but then you'll see the great move by Carruth. Turns on the speed at the corner. And just angles inside the pylon, diving the final two yards for the touchdown. So now in 11 carries, he's gained 44 yards, has scored two touchdowns, and Alabama builds its lead to 13 points. And Tiffin will try to make it 14. That drive goes 55 yards in nine plays. And Alabama sees Tiffin kick it up, and the kick by Tiffin is good. Four to ten, the score. Seven twenty-three to go in the third quarter, and Alabama will be kicking off as the Volunteers have fallen behind, unable to move here in a possession in the third quarter. And Alabama will be kicking off, and this will be Sanders 
as the kick is coming downfield. And it's down by Carter in the end zone for the touchback. Alabama 24, Tennessee 10. Over the ball is center McKenzie. Robinson passing incomplete. 35 is William Howard, and I think McGee was also out there as a possible receiver, but as it is, the pass is incomplete. And it will be for Tennessee, second down and 10. McGee, the man in motion. Alabama coming with a blitz, all out blitz. Robinson in trouble, pumps the pass, almost intercepted. It was intended for McGee, he was double covered. And Robinson had to cough it up or else be sacked. Here you'll see the pressure on the junior. Gets rid of the ball, Jarvis is the man putting the pressure on and there you'll see it's almost intercepted but the defensive play really of McGee saved the interception. And so Tennessee will have it third down and 10. Alabama getting pressure on the passer. Robinson off play action, better protection this time, sets up, throws, complete. That's Carter with the grab, and Tennessee has a first down on the 15-yard pass play from Robinson to Carter. Play action to Wilson. Now Robinson with better time. There's the throw, and Carter is open. The freshman from Nashville turns up field, steps out of bounds right there at the 35-yard line. 24 to 10 the score, Alabama on top. Tennessee has the ball. Robinson handoff, Wilson, oh, oh, there you see the play by Jarvis, that sophomore middle guard from Gardendale, Alabama. A second look as he fights off the interference and then belts Wilson for minus three. The ball's needing something to get momentum building, trailing by 14 points in the third quarter. Robinson looking, waiting. Stepping up, bang, he's dropped. That's Emmanuel King, who is in there for a loss on the play of five yards. Let's take a second look. You'll see Robinson escaping the pocket, still looking, wanting to run, eluding one tackle, but then he is belted and fumbles the football and just cradles it back. So it'll be third down and 18 yards to go for Tennessee. A loss of five after a first down loss of three, and here's Robinson in trouble, and he's sacked. Once more, that's Jarvis, and Tennessee has it fourth down and approximately a mile and a half. There you'll see Robinson. Fine play by the Alabama secondary covering the receivers, and there's Jarvis sacking Robinson for minus nine. And here's Jimmy Colquitt into the football game. Third down and 27 yards to go for the Volunteers who trail by a score of 24 to 10. And here's Colquitt getting the punt barely away. Good pressure from the outside. The punt will be taken on a fair catch. A 42 yard kick. So there's time out of the field with the score. Alabama 24, Tennessee 10. Richardson made the fair catch at the 40-yard line in Alabama territory, and the Tide have it at that point, first down at 10, still leading 24 to 10. Sutton throwing the pass away. It's incomplete. He was being pressured, and he dumped it out of bounds. Andre Kramer is over defending for Tennessee on the play. There you'll see the indication from the referee that Alabama had an illegal receiver downfield. So there's a penalty and also a loss of down, making it second down and... 15 yards to go. Alabama up by 14 points over Tennessee. The give. And Tennessee is there to force a loss on the play. This time it's Sander who wraps up Braggs. The ball's blitz on second down long. And here you'll take a second look. And there you see Xander coming clean. And it is he who rolls Braggs down. Tennessee has played extremely well in this game defensively, particularly on third down situations. As they blitz, they've jumped into a six-man front by bringing another middle guard in there. So now it's going to be third down upcoming for Alabama and a sizable yardage to go. A fumble, a scramble, I think that Sutton, who fumbled it on the exchange coming out, was able to recover it, which he did. 
at the 29-yard line. So now Sutton in three carries has met four yards, and into the game will come the punter. Deep for Tennessee, Andre Kramer, a freshman from Baltimore, Maryland. Sanders is in to punt. 24 to 10 as Sanders gets the punt away. Kramer moving over, asking and making a fair catch, a sliding grab. There's a penalty marker down on the play. And Tennessee's guilty of clipping. So even though it is a fair catch, Tennessee will sustain a 15-yard penalty, and it will move the ball back down to the volunteer 15-yard line. Robinson on first and 10. Here's the pass. It is complete. The diving catch is made by tight end John Cook. 22-yard gain. The Knoxville senior played at Bearden High School. Let's take a second look. The replay as Robinson has good time. Excellent protection by the offensive front. Fine route run there by Cook, who comes open in the crease. A rolling grab, and Tennessee has it first down. First and 10 for the Volunteers out at the 37-yard line. Tennessee in all orange as Robinson spots a four-man front. The pitch will come. To William Howard, the fullback, the lone running back as Johnny Jones sustained an injury to his nose, and he's not up to playing right now. So the ball's adjusting with their offensive set go with a single running back, and it's Howard who runs the right side for seven. Second down, three yards to go. It's Howard again, cutting to the interior, slowed in his own backfield, able to move it forward for a gain of a couple, but it's got to be short of the first down. Third down upcoming as Tennessee aligns itself once more, trailing 24 to 10 in the third quarter. And off to Howard. Yes, he's got a first down. It's Howard crashing up the middle behind the blocking of McKenzie, the center. And Tennessee will have it first down. Robinson, screen pass, complete clink skate. He's got five, 10, 15, 20, knocked out of bounds. Looks like a 22-yard pass and run on the screen from Robinson to Joey Klinkscale. Watch the block here. I think it's Swanson on the corner. Here's the screen pass. That's complete to Klinkscales, and there's the block that cleared him, and it's Klinkscales racing downfield, and the block was made back there by, well, let's take a third look. Maybe we can tell this time. There's Robinson's pass. The screen set well. Here's the big block right there, and I still can't see the number. It's a seven. 57 made the block. And running downfield, this will be Tennessee. First down, 10 to go. Trailing by 14. The pitch will go to Jones at the corner. Rambles back to the inside. It's Johnny Jones twisting and spinning and spinning his way forward for a gain of 15 yards. So Jones now has gained 72 yards in 14 carries, and Tennessee will have the ball first down and 10 to go. Balls at the Alabama 15-yard line, the 11th first down for Tennessee. Tennessee trailing 24 to 10. The pitch to Wilson. Cuts back to the interior, is knocked down by Jarvis. Gain on the play of two yards during the end of the third quarter. Tennessee trailing 24 to 10, hoping for a miracle comeback. The balls had come from behind for two straight years, but not nearly this far behind. Robinson rolls, passes, incomplete. 87 point scales, double team to the end zone. Momentarily flashed free, but the pass was just a little high, but it had to be high to evade the defender up close. Third down seven, Tennessee. Robinson, there's the reverse. McGee's got room, fine recovery by Alabama. And so Tennessee has stopped. A brilliant play defensively by Davis of Alabama. There's the pitch. And you'll see McGee's got some running room, but then watch the recovery right here by Davis. Making the stop, and Tennessee is short of the first down. So that's the end of the third quarter. There's time out on the field with the score. Alabama 24, Tennessee 10. After an exchange of field goals, Alabama still leads by 14 points. It's 27 to 13. Tennessee has the football in the final quarter of this game at Knoxville. Robinson pass. It's complete. And that, again, is the tight end, Jeff Smith, who makes the catch. A pickup of seven yards on the play. We'll take a second look as Robinson sets up. 
pretty good protection. Good protection, in fact. There's the pass. You'll see dragging underneath comes Smith, who took a count at the line before breaking into the pattern. And Tennessee trailing by 14 as some of the fans begin to leave. The ball's break. They have the ball at midfield, trailing 27 to 13. Fourth down and three, and Tennessee's going to try for the first down on fourth down and three. Pitch will come to Howard. Howard through the right side of the line is spun down, and they mark the ball. And let's see. Tennessee gambling, but not really a gamble, trailing by 14. And it is ruled a first down and 10 to go for Tennessee. First and 10 for the balls. So the drive is alive as Robinson in trouble. Flips the ball. It is incomplete because the Street Carter came down out of bounds with the ball. Let's take a second look. Fine effort by Vince Carter coming into his own as a wide receiver. Here's the throw by Robinson. Now let's watch it very closely into the air. Carter makes the catch. Let's see. He comes down with the ball on the out of bounds line. So it is incomplete. Back to throw Robinson. Here's the throw. It is complete. Tennessee's Jeff Smith. The ball still battling from behind. A courageous comeback. Even though Tennessee trails by 14, let's take a second look as the tight end comes again open. Here's the throw. Here's Jeff Smith from Milan. Complete. And that pass is good for 28 yards. Let's take a look for the third time at this pass from the end zone. There's Jeff Smith. He's open, beating a linebacker. Now he's knocked down, but Tennessee has it first down. The ball's at the 19-yard line, first down and 10 to go. Hand off Jones, starts left, cuts back to the interior, is spun down. The Volunteers, of course, fighting the clock right now, trailing in the football game by 14. But trying to keep that defense on as Tennessee runs on first down. And so now, again, it's Robinson at quarterback. Back to throw. There's the pass. It is. Give him six. Touchdown, McGee. Tennessee set up that pass with the run on first down. Let's take a second look. Robinson. McGee double covered, but he comes open between the two and makes the catch and arches down, and Tennessee pulls with an eight. The Volunteers always battling. Here's Robinson's throw. And you'll see McGee right in between the defenders. There's the catch. There he touches down in the end zone. And here's Reves trying for the extra point. Snap down. Kick up. Splits them. There's three out of the field. As Tennessee leads by seven points. The score is 27 to 20 in favor of Alabama. But Tennessee is right back in this ball game. But it appeared that Alabama, with that 14-point lead, was going to be in safe position. Here will be Reves, no onside kick. Angling the kick to the near side, it bounces and knocks down the pylon, so it will be a touchback. Alabama will have the ball at the 20-yard line. Some of the UTV staff on duty all over the field. As Alabama comes to the line, the crowd is very, very loud at the south end, and so Sutton asks for relief and is granted that by referee Harper. Tennessee fans standing and cheering, hoping for what would be an absolutely unbelievable comeback. Tennessee has come from behind two straight years, winning two years ago in Knoxville, 35-28 last year, and Birmingham, 41-34. It's now 27-20 Alabama. The pitch will go to the Alabama running back, and there, covering for Tennessee, number 45, Kyle Zander, senior linebacker, Minden, New Jersey, having an outstanding senior season. And here you'll see fighting through one block, and there is Kyle Zander right on top of the runner, who in this case is the tailback Allen. No gain on the play. 27-20. Alabama leads Tennessee. The volunteer defense aligning itself. That's Miller, the middle guard. Sutton barking out the digits at the line. Running backs split. Sutton, handoff. Tennessee covers. Fighting with the football. It's Braggs, and Braggs didn't get there. I said Braggs. I meant Horstead. He's thrown for a loss of a yard on the play. Got to be third down and 11. A second look. 
Chelsea, Tennessee. Fine reaction. Great play there. 54 is over to help. That's Jones. But of course, initially it was 62 with a big, big play. Four minutes, two seconds. Alabama leading by seven points, 27 to 20. Big, big third down play for both sides. Sutton will bring his team up to the line. Alabama has the ball at its own 19-yard line. Leading in the fourth period, 27 to 20. The man in motion is Richardson, overloading to the right side. Sutton pursued, the pass is incomplete. Intended for Richardson, Tommy Sims overprotecting, crashes into the retaining fence, and Alabama will be putting the ball. The score of the game is 27 to 20. Sanders is in here to do the punting. He is senior, will be getting the punt away. And Tennessee has, let's see, a seven-man rush. That's Andre Kramer, the freshman. Let's see what Tennessee does. They may get the return on. There's the snap. Tennessee is setting up the return. Here's the punt. Kramer under the ball, makes the catch at the 45. Gets a block, breaks a tackle, 50. This is Kramer, 45. Kramer, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Kramer, 15, roll down at the 12-yard line. Andre Kramer, 45 yards on the punt return. And Tennessee trailing 27 to 20. Fourth period, back in the game. Here's the replay from the end zone. Kramer through two tackles. Now the wall is built. And watch the speech to turn it on. Down to the 40, 35, 30. Downfield, that's McKenzie blocking. And cutting back, it's Kramer. Knocked down at the 12. Tennessee trails by seven. This time out of the field with the score. Alabama 27, Tennessee 20. Andre Kramer sets Tennessee up at the 11-yard line. It's first down, 10 to go for the first down, 11 to go for a touchdown, and this will be Johnny Jones making through the right side of the line. And Jones powers it down to the five-yard line. He's playing injured, but he's running the football. There's the blocking. Mayo made the block right there. Douglas is in there offensively at a tackle, and Tennessee's Johnny Jones moves it forward. Volunteers trailing in the football game 27 to 20. To the line they come. Robinson. Robinson keeping, rolling right, looks, will run. Robinson dances inside, fights, fumbles the football, but I think he's got to be ruled down. Let's take a second look as Tennessee's Tony Robinson keeping the ball is downed. His forward progress rule to stop. Here you'll see Robinson looking. He wants to throw the ball into the end zone. The man is covered. So he cuts to the inside, and he is, knee is down, as you see. And the ball is blown dead, and Tennessee maintains possession. It'll be third down, and about a yard to go. Third and one. There you see it written. 27 to 20. Some of the fans left. It started raining back near the end of the first half through the halftime, and some people left, and more left, when Tennessee dropped behind 27 to 13, but now it's still a ball game. It's 27 to 20. Tennessee has the ball deep in Alabama territory. Robinson. Jones dives. He did not score. We'll wait and see if he made the first down. We'll wait and see as it was Johnny Jones hurtling through the left side. The chain is brought in, it is stretched, and it is first down, goal to goal for the Volunteers. First and goal for Tennessee. Alabama digging in, there's the goal line. Tennessee one yard away. Alabama sets itself in an eight-man line. Tennessee with the ball, the full house backfield. Jones, give him six, touchdown, big on out in front. Number 30, B.B. Cooper. It was his block, but Jones then runs through the iron tackle. He's knocked down to the end zone, but Tennessee is pulled within one. And it's decision time in Tennessee. A third look at the touchdown run by Johnny Jones. This is Jones carrying the ball. 18 carries, 82 yards, and a touchdown. And there you see it. Alabama 27, Tennessee 26. 2.09 to go, 
throw. Tennessee is going to go for two. The two-point try. Robinson, the quarterback. This is Robinson. The option. Robinson keeps. It's wide open. 6-3, diving, two points. And Tennessee leads Alabama, 28-27. The junior quarterback, mobbed by his teammates. The high fives with Howard, with Jeff Smith. A third look at Tony Robinson. The fake pitch to Jones, and unless I'm mistaken, that was the same play on which Tennessee scored last year with Cockrell at quarterback, making the pitch for the game-winning touchdown to Johnny Jones. This time, Robinson saw Jones had been taken, and so he kept the ball, and Tennessee leads by a score of 28 to 27, but there's still lots of time to go. Two minutes and nine seconds left. Alabama, which is led by as much as 14 points. Alabama was up by 14 points here in the fourth quarter. It was 24 to 10 in the quarter. Got a duo. He's got see now. Let's go at 18 points. Alabama three. Here is the kickoff by Reves, and it goes beyond the end line, as you saw when it ricochets down. So the ball will be hauled out to the 30-yard line. Alabama will have it first down and 10 at the Alabama 30-yard line. Tennessee leads for the first time in the game, 28 to 27. Sutton setting up. Waiting. The pass. Complete. The diving catch is made by Allen. Here's the pass. It is intercepted Tennessee. Tommy Sims with the interception. Coming back downfield, and Tennessee has the ball. He's knocked out of bounds, but let's see. Tennessee, there's a penalty marker down on the play. We'll just hold it right here. Tommy Sims with the interception of Sutton's pass as Alabama went without the huddle. There's the interception by Tommy Sims. And there you'll see Tennessee setting up the wall. 54 Jones, 45 Xander, 22 Davis, 16 Sims. He wants to cut to the inside and keep from going out of bounds. 51 downfield, that's McKenzie. But Alabama's horse that forces him out. And Tennessee on the play is guilty of clipping. Or was it holding? That's the 10-yard step off. It's holding. 10-yard penalty against Tennessee, but the Volunteers do have possession. Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. 139 to go in the football game. The ball's leading. 18 points in the fourth period. The crowd standing, cheering. Johnny Jones to the left side. He's rolled down. Alabama has a timeout or two left. Two timeouts remaining. They take one. Tennessee back to the line. Leading 28 to 27. There's that full house backfield. The pitch to Johnny Jones. Jones running, cutting. Inside, roll down. That's Bennett. Again on the play of seven yards. Robinson helping out on the tackle. Let's take a second look. This Tennessee trying to count the seconds away. Good blocking out in front on student body right. Jones is twisted down short of the first down. Robinson has come to the sideline after Alabama has used its final timeout. Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. Here's Robinson, that quarterback for Tennessee on third down. That was Hendricks in motion. Robinson, misdirection play. He's going to be nailed and thrown for a loss. So Alabama throws Robinson for a loss. Fourth down upcoming. Tennessee uses all of its time, takes a five-yard penalty. The punt is barely away. Somebody might have got a hand on the ball. It's Richardson making the catch, and he immediately dashes, but does not get to the sideline, or does he? Well, it's ruled that he did get out of bounds. And so Alabama will have time for another play or two. It's Robinson. Sutton, rather, back to throw. Sutton in trouble. Throws the ball. It is caught by a lineman, and that immediately initiates the dropping of personal of penalty flags because, of course, he's an ineligible receiver. So there'll be a penalty and a loss of down and seven seconds to go in the volunteer defensive unit. Smelling victory. So are the fans just waiting to count away the final seven seconds. The score is Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. Tennessee in the pre bet defense. This is Sutton. Looking, waiting, long pass is incomplete as the football game has come to a close. And a miraculous comeback by the Volunteers of Tennessee. Tennessee beats Alabama 
in Knoxville. Three straight wins for the Rawls over the Tide. There you see it. The final score is Tennessee 28, Alabama 27. The Volunteers of Tennessee, clad in white jerseys with orange numerals, racing onto the field. It's Grant Field. It's AstroTurf surface. And over 11,000 Tennessee fans are in the stands for the game. As coach Johnny Majors surveys the situation, his team coming in with a record of 3-2-1 on the strength of a last-minute triumph over Alabama a week ago in Knoxville, 28-27. Georgia Tech comes in, having played very well early with wins over Alabama and Clemson and the Citadel. And there you see it, the Model T leading the Georgia Tech engineers out onto the football field. Georgia Tech will be wearing the black jerseys with white numerals trimmed in gold. The colors are old gold and white. This will be the 18th time Tennessee and Georgia Tech have played at Grant Field, which was opened in 1913. The record stands nine and eight in favor of Tennessee. Of course, the two teams met prior to the construction of Grant Field. Tennessee holds the upper hand in the series 22-16 with one tie. There you see the three captains for Georgia Tech. Bill Mayo calling the toss of the coin. Well, he did not do too well. Georgia Tech won the toss.